and in Delaware County. This was expected to be a very close race, and indeed it is. Republican District Attorney Kat Copeland fighting for a second term, but right now she is behind. She has run into a strong Democratic opponent in Jack Stolestamer, and also what could be a very strong night, sort of a Democratic wave in Delaware County because Democrats in Delaware County were trying to make history tonight to take over the reins of power on the county council for the first time since the Civil War. It appears they may be accomplishing that. Action News reporter Bob Brooks is live at the Delaware County Democratic Watch Party at the Inn at Swarthmore. Bob, a huge night. It looks like it's shaping up to be a huge night for the Democrats in Delaware County. Jim, I can tell you the party has already started behind me. They have declared victory in those races for county council. They've also declared victory in the race for district attorney. Jim, they are excited. I'm going to step out of the way here. Just give you a quick look at what really has become a victory party down here. They have state attorney general Josh Shapiro here, several other Congress people here giving victory speeches, talking about the importance of this election. Now, Jim, this is historic. This is the first time since the Civil War Democrats say that they're going to take total control of Delaware County. They're saying Delaware County now belongs to the Democrats, and that's how they are celebrating, and that's why they are so excited. Again, we know the numbers aren't totally final just yet, but Jim, they are declaring victory down here at the end in Swarthmore. And our reporting live, Bob Brooks, Channel 6. Action News, Jim, back to you. Thank you, Bob. And